Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today Rockstar announced the new Red Dead Online DLC and it is coming on December 13th and it's gonna be actually what a lot of people actually wanted. A lot of people actually said that they wanted a moonshine business including myself for many months and it looks like they're actually bringing moonshining into Red Dead Online and it's gonna be called Moonshine Moonshiners, a new frontier pursuit coming December 13th to Red Dead Online. So it looks like the moonshiner is gonna be another role, kind of like how we have the trader, the collector, and the bounty hunter, but um, looks like this DLC is only gonna have one role which is going to be the moonshiner but anyways let's read off here what um what it says in america not yet fully governed by law opportunity abounds for the lawless wild open space ready and waiting for the ruthless and ambitious to carve a new future for themselves how better to make your fortune than to become a black market moonshiner the all-new frontier pursuit coming threaded online on december 13th establish your own bootlegging business in this new specialist role an ideal fit for players progressing along the trader path or anyone seeking a property to call their own unlock unique role specific skills as you perfect your distillation methods avoid the law and put rival peddlers out of business if you're lucky you might survive long enough to open your own speakeasy so we'll um so i wonder what they mean when they say speakeasy a speakeasy in case anybody doesn't know what that is that's basically an illegal bar so it would basically be like a um it would basically be like a building like maybe like a warehouse or like in the back of like a store like so some place where you would not expect a bar to be like a basically a secret area for a bar um that's what a speakeasy actually is um and it says perfect your distillation methods. I, I hope that there's some kind of skill involved in like, you know, actually making the moonshine. That it's not just like, you know, with the trader where we go around looking for like ingredients. Obviously, we're not going to be hunting, but I hope that it's not going to be like where we're just going to be like grinding, trying to find things. Maybe there's going to be a little bit more skill in. You put certain ingredients in, uh, mix it around, that it'll make different types of moonshine, maybe something like that. That would actually be kind of cool. And, um... This looks like this looks like the speakeasy right here. So this is going to be the first property that we're actually going to be on. This is a big step up because this is the, this is the first property that we're able to own in Red Dead Online. And it says, and any active trader who has completed a cell mission or reached rank five in the trader progression will receive an introduction via Crips to meet the infamous Maggie. Fike, an experienced bootlegger with the scars to prove it. Down at Emerald Ranch, Maggie's got the connections and the knowledge to help you get your business up and running. Okay, so um, it looks like maybe it's going to be linked to the trader in some way. You got to be rank 5 in the trader. That's not difficult at all. Um, anybody can do that. Most people already rank 20 with the trader anyways. And it says, purchase a moonshining shack and you will be on your way. To passers-by, the shack is an unassuming dwelling, the main floor acting as a front, with all details of an ordinary homestead. The basement, however, is where you ultimately get down the business. So shack, I mean, hopefully this property at least looks somewhat nice on the um, uh, on the surface, because they said that, that the basement is going to be where you um, where you um, bootleg. But I'm, I'm curious, though, on one thing, is how this is going to work exactly, because, you know, Red Dead Online doesn't have, like, um... Red Dead Online doesn't have the same loading screens into buildings like GTA Online. In Red Dead Online, you just walk into the building. That's how it is. Um, there's not, like, a loading screen in GTA Online. And in GTA Online, by adding that loading screen, they're able to, like, put, like, mul the same property and have multiple people access it without, like, interfering with each other. So my question is, how is that going to work? Is there going to be now a loading screen where we actually get loaded into the business? Because what happens if, like, two people have, like, the two moonshine businesses in the exact same place? I'm sure Rockstar has that figured out, but I'm just, um, I'm just curious how that, that is going to work. Um, let's see, anything else here? Um, okay. Owning and operating the moonshine business is just part of your role. You'll also work with Maggie for a series of story missions to be played solo or, or cooperatively as you help her get revenge on those that try to take her down. Okay, so there's going to be it, its own story as well, kind of like how we had the story for the Casino DLC in GTA. But I wonder what they're go what they're going to do about the Land of Opportunity missions because they kind of left that on a cliffhanger. Are they ever going to finish the story in that with the Jessica Leclerc missions? Um... And it says, as you grow the business and eliminate a rival operation, you'll learn new recipes and techniques that help you make your moonshine the best by a by a country mile. When they say recipes, I hope that they actually have like different moonshines that you can sell. That would be interesting. You'll also have the opportunity to set up your own underground bar serving your own shine with customizable decor and the option to add a country band complete with dance floor and entertain your friends and clientele. That's, that's interesting. Kind of like a club in Red Dead Online, an underground, you know... Um, Kind of there, like 
in an illegal bar and it says you can customize decorations so hopefully there is some pretty good customization on this um on this bar we'll have to see what that's like and this is probably this is probably her this is this is most likely her um Scroll down here. Look for much more come to Reddit online alongside Moonshiners on December 13th, including Outlaw Pass number 2, new Moonshiner roll unlocks, the new Navy Revolver, additional clothing options, and an increased the amount of outfit slots in your wardrobe. And this probably right here, this is probably the new Navy Revolver. That is probably the, uh, that is probably the new gun that we, that we're gonna have added here. But we're gonna have another Outlaw Pass, and whoever missed out on the first Outlaw Pass, you should really consider investing in the second Outlaw Pass. It's gonna be like 35 gold, so you wanna save up your gold. Don't buy gold bars, just earn it in-game. Um, do a lot of the daily challenges, and try your best to get those 35 gold bars if you don't have them already. Buy this, because you will make your money and your gold back. You will get an increased amount of XP, um, you You'll get, you'll just get a lot more stuff, a lot more stuff added to your, um, uh, to your box in your camp. So the outlaw pass is definitely worth it. I wonder what type of role unlocks we're gonna have. We're probably gonna have a trailer for this, probably maybe like, um, probably a few days before the update comes out. So the update's gonna come out in ten days. So maybe like, maybe that's what the thirteenth. That's a, that's a Friday, I think. That is a Friday. Yes. So. Um, so maybe like on the Tuesday, they'll have a trailer for this DLC, we'll see. I wonder how the new Navy Revolver is going to work. So def definitely welcome, definitely welcome change. And we have a first property and another business. So this is going to be our second business. Hopefully this is different than the trader though, um, uh, that we don't like, we don't just get in a wagon and just deliver from point A to point B. And I noticed here, you know, this is the background picture, but I noticed the wagon here actually has two horses. And with the trader, we only have one horse and the wagon is kind of slow. So maybe we, we could have an improved wagon. We'll have to see how this whole thing works but should be a great awesome DLC I can't wait for it um, hopefully they add a lot of cooperative activities that you can play with your friends with the business your friends can make a decent amount of money helping you just like they did with the trader business but I'm, I'm excited for this DLC I want to see what this DLC has to offer let me know down below what do you guys think I'm definitely gonna have a lot of guides on this DLC when it comes out I'm definitely gonna have my ultimate moonshining um, guide so we have moonshining a lot of people wanted it a lot of people have been requesting it and Rockstar has added it kind of like what people requested with the bikers update back in GTA online people have been requesting moonshining Moonshining, and we got it. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, join my comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the ne next one. Let me know what you think down below. Take care, everyone.